American Medical Review is a national platform where science and art meet, where improving and preserving health and wellness take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the healers and innovators. These editorial profiles presented on public television single out advancements in medical treatments, procedures, and services. The American Autoimmune Related Diseases Association was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to promoting progress in the field of health and medicine. Hi, I'm Kelly Martin. I'm an actress and the spokesperson for the American Autoimmune Related Diseases Association. And I invite you to watch the following program about autoimmune diseases. I think you'll learn a lot. And at the end of the program, there will be a phone number for ARDA, and I invite you to give us a call. Hello, I'm Morley Safer. Welcome to American Medical Review. Preventive medicine and therapies, state-of-the-art medical devices, wonder drugs, all weapons in the warfare being waged on the front line of American health care. And researchers are continuously searching for new ways to arm the medical arsenal. Here's one of their latest finds. Imagine what it would be like if your body's own immune system began to attack itself, your cells, tissues, and organs, it actually happens frequently. It is known as autoimmune disease. Approximately 75% of those who suffer from it are women. It is not hereditary nor contagious, and there are more than 100 different diseases in its category. The symptoms are often so subtle and nonspecific that it's very difficult to confirm a diagnosis in the early stages. And often by the time an autoimmune disease is recognized, it's too late. My family's experience with autoimmune disease uh, began when my sister became ill suddenly one day. Uh, she basically just couldn't get out of bed. And she was this healthy 19-year-old girl who had never been sick a day in her life. And we took her to our family doctor who kept telling us repeatedly, she just has a virus, she's going to be fine. But her body was crashing. And it was just incredible to me that, that she could be seen by seven or eight doctors and they all have medical degrees. They have no idea what they're looking at. For the 50 million people afflicted with these chronic debilitating illnesses, there is no cure available today. Therefore, more focus is being placed on research in an effort to bring about advances in the diagnosis and treatment of autoimmune diseases. Autoimmunity is not AIDS. Patients always get this confused because they hear so much about the immune system. The most important part of autoimmunity is it's basically the immune system not recognizing self. Now with autoimmunity, it's the reverse. The immune system is extremely active and what one does is, or can, selectively attack one organ or the entire body. And there's a scale, basically, of organs that are involved. For example, you can make antibodies or proteins that circulate in the blood and are very specific to your thyroid gland, to your eye, to your brain cells, to your heart valves. And one of these organs can be all that is affected. So for example, Graves disease, which is an antibody to the thyroid, that is a protein that's in your body that's made that reacts and attacks your thyroid gland and makes the thyroid either function too much or function too little. That's hyper and hypothyroidism. That's all that can happen. Just your thyroid can be knocked out, but it can cause devastation. Of course, Mrs. Bush, Mrs. Barbara Bush, who had Graves' disease, that was a public uh, information at the time, and then subsequent to her getting the disease, the president developed Graves' disease. Now, these are not infectious diseases, so there's been no transmission that we know of between husband and wife, nor do we see that in, in many other families where these diseases of autoimmunity seem to occur in clusters within certain groups. And the poor people will go to their local physicians who may not be versed on the nuances of autoimmunity and they will go for years and years and years without a diagnosis. 
And so physicians, as well as patients, as well as the media, have to understand that this is an area that deserves considerable emphasis in order to save lives. It's as simple as that. The lack of information about autoimmunity prompted some who've lost a loved one to this illness, like Kelly Martin, to become actively involved with organizations such as ARDA, the American Autoimmune Related Disease Association, which strive to make ignorance about autoimmunity a thing of the past. People ask me what can they do to further awareness. Basically, uh, call and write your senators and representatives. And you can go to ARDA's website. There is so much information there. There is a national research fund set up there. You can give to that fund. We need to raise research funds for many reasons, but in particular, um, we hope to establish an autoimmune diagnostic triage clinic, which is a place where a patient can go who is experiencing seemingly unconnected, strange symptoms, and they just don't know what's wrong with them. These autoimmune disease centers would allow a patient to consult with various multidisciplined physicians in a single location under one roof. The research would, of course, spin from the patients that are seen at such an institute. Uh, this would afford the patients an opportunity to come from all over the country, and they do come from all over the world to specialists, to get a diagnosis and eventually treatment that's appropriate. Start talking about autoimmune diseases. Um, and all you have to do is scratch the surface and you'll find that it has affected your family in some way or your friends. With emphasis on research, employing methods of early detection and raising awareness, the fight against autoimmune diseases can gain momentum, perhaps promising new breakthroughs in treatment. The world of medicine is a challenging, ever-changing place, and each one of us is impacted by improvements and breakthroughs. Be sure to tune in next time for more Modern Miracles on American Medical Review. It's important to understand that autoimmune disease is a leading cause of death in women below the age of 65. This is extraordinary when you think about this. There are many things that cause death in young women. For this to be a major issue is indicative of the fact that we are not diagnosing these diseases quickly enough, we are not treating the patients quickly enough, and by the time we get around to recognizing what the patient has, it's often too late. I was in the hospital, I counted about 10 times in a matter of 18 months, which was a really long time for a high school sophomore. So that's when I talked to a surgeon and they felt the best thing to do would be to have a partial gastrectomy. Um, they took out my duodenum, attached my stomach directly to the intestine, hoping that with that gone, I wouldn't have any further problems with my stomach. But that wasn't so. Um, eventually, I started having really bad stomach pains again. I found out that my gallbladder became enlarged. While nobody attributed to the disease, they took out my gallbladder. It took them 12 years to figure out I had multiple sclerosis. 12 years of miscarriages, 12 years of needless surgery, 12 years of complete baffling hopelessness. Hearing women in their probably late 30s, early 40s talk about how they've had their hips replaced from the side effects of medicine really scared me. My work with Arda and uh, Arda's work has basically uh, led to the passing of legislation. Um, we lobbied Congress and what we were able to get is um, this coordinating committee that would make autoimmune disease a national focus. And it's a step in the right direction. It's not the ultimate, but we're getting there. And what we need now is the funds to back it up. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there also is love of humanity. Once again, American Medical Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet today's health and wellness challenges. This has been a presentation of WJMK.